the, we, we carry the day. And on the issue of the tax waiver, and that is where I think that I have a very big problem mm. with, with our colleagues. You see, how so? We're talking in this about country, how much. Is it 250 million? Don't let us talk about how much. <laughs> but you, you can't have the conversation without talking yeah, about no, how much is I'm it. I'm saying that you don't have to talk the numbers. Mm. If you talk about the numbers, you get it wrong. You would oversimplify it and you get it wrong. Gentlemen, you know, countries are competing for investment, all right? And they have all manner of incentives to attract people to bring capital. Mm. We are talking about post-COVID entrepreneurial decisions. Entrepreneurs would have to take decisions which country they would go to. You go to Qatar today, in their free zones, their policy on foreign direct investment, so attractive. Tax waivers, you know, first almost 10 years, first 10 years you are not supposed to pay your uh, tax on profit and all. You have that space. Now, this government introduces the one district, one factory. The aim of it is to create a space for businesses to thrive. If you give that incentive, that uh, 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 money, that capital is invested in the business. That is why I'm saying that don't quantify it that, oh, government is giving tax incentives of 300 million. Oh, that money could have been used for something else. You get it wrong. I see. When you give a, a businessman the space, you are allowing him to employ more. You are allowing him to expand. That is the rationale behind it. Okay, so, so the rationale so, is, is clear. Let me, let me just halt you. We have the Free Zones Authority, right? May, 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 may I finish the point? Let, let me you talk about... First of all, let me finish ahead. the point first. Go ahead. Now, we bring this, we have 42 companies. And then, all of a sudden, the minority will say, no, you are granting tax waivers of so much, so we will not allow. There are factories that are at various stages of completion, that are going through frustration because the equipment are there, the law has not been passed. There's no resolution to support. In my own constituency, an Indian company has come establishing a tissue factory, the first of its kind in West Africa. Mm. And this tissue factory is going to provide produce the raw material base for all the tissue companies. You know the tissue companies we have in Ghana, right. they all import the pulp, right. the jumbo, they get, then they come and cut it and all. This company is going to produce it. And they got attracted to Ghana because of the 1D1F. I see. They are almost 60% done. And we are in parliament, you know, dragging our feet. There are many other companies going through the same thing. I am feeling it because if this company is completed, they will start the employing my people. The companies that are important will not have to import. So the pressure on the city would go down. And if they have that tax incentive, they will be able to you know, do their phase two and employ more. The point I'm making here is that instead of <clears throat> looking at it, with a myopic eye, get a, bro a bigger lens to look at it, look at the impact of that incentive, mm. and look at the space around you. Are other countries offering similar incentives? If they do, they would go. All right. You cannot travel, GIPC, chief executive traveling, uh, trade minister traveling, uh, uh, foreign minister traveling, the president traveling, it's going to market Ghana only for businesses to come, and then we in parliament, we are playing politics with it. Our colleagues in the minority know that the 1D, 1F with its tax incentive, the policy is not about giving freebies. They know. But as usual, they would want to uh, play politics, and that is where I have a problem. Anyway, Mr. Speaker has directed mm. that within the recess period, they should have a meeting and express all their concerns. Where they disagree with some of the numbers, they should put that out, engage the sector ministry, 
and the, the, the sector minister so that by the time we resume, their report will be okay, ready. Okay, so let me...